Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last thing we left off, we made it to Repton, and uh, we're supposed to go speak to Sigurd, but I don't really know where he is right now. So, yeah, that's a problem. But we're going to go over here because there seems to be a mystery or something. How far away is it? It seems pretty close, but I, I don't know. I don't know how close it is. I mean, obviously I can see the distance, but, you know, I'm not good at judging distance. And I really don't want to get in a boat just to go across a river. I'm going to guess it's over there. Why, why can't I get in the water? Right? I'll take the smaller boat. Because <laughs> I guess I can't swim. Interesting. Um, yeah. I would have just swam over here. Probably walked over here, but... Uh, apparently you can't. Let's see, do I need any of this? I do. Scurry's rem reminiscence. My warring days are behind me. I've gone from sitting behind a big, o beside a big oak tree with a view of the docks, to sitting here on this lonely isle with a view of my past. Where does one go from here? Care to sing uh, a song? I don't know. Help me pass the time. Come here, Raider. Have a sit with me. Hear a story or two. Uh. <laughs> okay. That song. You have spent some days on a long ship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair? It took a pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very huh. quick and sturdy by the looks of you. <laughs> but you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there no, in Red. Stupid. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. I Dead wish it was weight, more zoomed out. They say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out on the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young drinker. Well, that's nice. It was worth it. It was worth coming out here because now we are going to have the ability to get some treasure. Scary scribblings. Uh, I can't read that. Yorta sa gluger ofan hins faller not vinder. Here, very fragments. <laughs> I don't know. For all I know, I just swore in freaking whatever language that was. So yeah, I think we are good to go now. We collected everything here. But hey, he gave us a key. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home if I ever am in Repton. Repton is like right there. So obviously we're gonna be in Repton. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, now I can swim. All right. Whatever. <laughs> that was so bad. Well, now they don't have a boat to get over there, so whatever. Now. Said something about a big tree. I don't. I don't know where this place is going to be. 
I mean, this looks like a big tree. Um. And I don't know if they're gonna mark the treasure on the map. I mean, it's possible. But, anyway, I think we should probably start looking for Sigurd because I've been is getting distracted way too much and I'm not very happy about it. Oh, that's a traitor. Forgot. I always forget the bag <laughs> is a traitor. Damn, I don't know what's considered a big tree. I mean, this looks pretty big, that tree looks pretty big. So... I mean, this looks like a pretty big tree over here. But this is where all the shops are. Alright. And then there's a staircase. Whoops. This must be that old raider's place. Oh. He said he wanted me to have his things. See, I wasn't really paying attention to what the button prompt actually said. I thought it was just telling me to use my Odin's vision thing. I was like, oh. Oh, this is the place. I remember. We read this note earlier, I think. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see what he has. Got some silver, a studded bracelet. Nice. Uh, we can this pick up the- is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return it to the old raider. Oh. Got a poem? Original Norse poem? What's in here? Leather, iron ore, minor rune of tactics, weapon runes. Ooh. Yeah, I, I looked at my inventory before I started. Oh, don't burn myself. Jeez. I looked at my inventory before I started and I saw that I had another rune that gives me, like, fire damage. So I might want to equip that. But first, I need to take this over to that guy. I was wondering why the marker wasn't disappearing. Uh, but we're gonna have to find a way down. Because, obviously I don't want to drop with this thing. Oh my god, dude, how do I get out of here? Alright, it's not gonna work. Can I go down this way? Well, kind of. Can I use one of these boats? Because I broke the other one. Shit. All right. Hopefully this thing's waterproof. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to go over here. Uh, climb the boat. There we go. And this time, I hope I don't freaking crash. We'll slowly turn this thing around, because... Oh, 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 oh. No! Careful. Okay. Where'd the box go? Oh, son of a bitch, dude. Dude, they despawned the box. Well, well, okay. I'm going to go see if the box is back there. If not, then this thing is glitched out and we're kind of screwed. So I'll be back in a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to freaking take this boat. Please, please. Oh, great. I'm stuck. No, nope, no. Nope. Pick it up. I just want to sit over here. We're going to place the box down. Uh, how do I... 
Dude, I'm afraid to leave this box anywhere besides next to me because I don't want the thing to despawn. Despawn. You better stay there. How do I take command of the boat? I can't. Alright. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is kind of glitchy. I mean... I've been hearing about glitchy behavior in this game, so I'm not really surprised. Either that or I'm just not pointing my camera in the right spot. Alright, I place this. I take command of the boat. <clears throat> Alright, now hopefully I don't crash into this pole and shatter the boat. This is all I have to do. We're just gonna stop right here. Pick up the box. And then take it over to this guy. See? It's not that hard. Here. Come on. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You'll want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. Alright. Well, that was nice. Farewell. Um... Can I just, like, run across this stuff? I mean, it looks like it. Oh, yeah. I guess I could have tried to do that, but I don't think I could jump with the box. At least that's what I was thinking. I don't remember if I actually tried to jump with it or anything. I probably should have tried that. <laughs> but, uh... One thing's for sure, you cannot get the box wet, because I'm assuming that's probably why it despawned. Um, either that or I walked, or I was too far away from it. So, I don't know. That was weird. But, you know, that, that kind of stuff is going to happen in this game. Uh, game's not perfect. What can I tempt you with? Uh, oh. I have to go. See you soon. We have the the horse guy. Um, all right. Where the frick am I supposed to be going? Anyway, find and speak to Sigurd. <laughs> so I gotta find him in this town. Oh, this sucks. Oh, oh, we got a question mark. Somebody's not having a good day. All right, I'm full on arrows. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Surprisingly not. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, this is where Are we're supposed you to go. Sigurd Stranger. Igor. Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. 
Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Gross. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok through the mercy and fields. I think he might I be dead. Him down easy. Or he's going to die. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the feeling that this guy's kind of insane. What do you call this place? And not I in call a good it way. The shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine they're weeping when we drove them out. We plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I swear. Ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Okay. Where are we going? Dude. I'm gonna accidentally run into Don't a fire and just burn myself. I know Whoops. I was too fast. I'm just too fast for these games. I'm not going anywhere, Backrot. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Um... Are you fit to you rule king? You have what it takes to be king. One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king, or a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. But it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar. 
and we will honor it. Um, I, I'm gonna say sound plan. This is a good Fair. plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this: whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne, and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! Oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. All right. Well, we're starting the arc of Leicestershire. God. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Yep. There is a lot of s stuff to see. But, I mean... Dude, uh, I'm gonna get distracted again. Why is there something over here? I don't know where this thing is. It could be up top. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Not sure. I mean, it says it's over that way, but it could be, like, down below here. But, I, I don't know. I didn't see anything. Oh, well. I gotta stop, like, going after the side stuff, because <laughs> I need to make progress in this game. I mean, this is like one of the things I was worried about with recording an open world game. It's just, I know I always end up like... Spending way too much time exploring everything. So... That... That's not very good for recording purposes. If I was playing this game like on my own, without having to worry about anything, then I would be taking my time with this game a whole lot more. But... I just don't know. I don't know how to... blend the two together. Alright, are we gonna go? Eivor! Is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. Yeah. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of does war. does not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Um... Can this boy even fight? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. 
And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. And maybe I'll have to kill you. I, uh, I don't really mind killing this guy if I have to later. Because honestly, they're, the way they're setting him up is just sounding like we're going to get pissed off with him eventually. Or somebody's going to get pissed off and hire us to kill him or something. You smell that, Jailbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. Why do these guys move so slow? What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor. I, I think. In the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? I think this guy in front will always be faster, so. That's all I need to worry about. Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him. And they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes well. are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonbeck, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. So, I guess that's kind of like loyal to the pack or something. It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was for a time, but our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. Alright, interesting. Looks like Sigurd has uh, kind of changed his mind Gilbert. about everything. It is my father or not changed his mind, but... Weight of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent okay, or knowledge. Never mind. <laughs> as easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. All right. Well, we've, we're passing another guy with a question mark. That guy just ran right through him. That guy's a ghost. Unbelievable. Um... So, I guess most of Sigurd's anger is with his father, and not so much King Harold. Like, he actually has respect for King Harold. Which, I didn't really think, well... Nah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I can appreciate Sigurd a little bit more since he realizes how good it is that King Harold is has like kind of united Norway in a way so 
I guess that's a good thing. But he's still upset with his father because he basically gave away his crown. Which is still... Eh, whatever. Not to draw attention here. 